fuck out of here. Oh, I... Okay. Keep it real, so dog. So long, dude. Yeah. Yeah. So long, game Yeah. Out. Take care and... Yeah. All right, Mr. Vega. Oh, I thought it was a, I thought it was a Vegeta. <laughs> I just Vegeta. immediately thought it was said just Mr. Vegeta. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Vegeta. Oh, I'm gonna take out this corner here. Sounds good. <laughs> just uh, I can't <laughs> kick Vegeta. I'm gonna just pull the up. <laughs> so they're saying they all want you to leave Nathan, and then they're saying Nathan yes, and also Nathan no. <laughs> <laughs> yep, totally remembered. I'll be there. Smile as often as you can. It will make others around you feel more comfortable. And yes, I have been wearing these flip flops the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I really did. I didn't think this plan through. I'm not entirely sure where the closest bar is, and Amanda still hasn't shown me how to use the GPS on my phone. So I'm just gonna pick a direction and walk in it. Let's go if this you way. Want me to get wet, let me know. <laughs> cool. Okay, we're marching. We're marching in the direction for of the game. Any game, really. Oh, did you think it would be a flop? I didn't think it would be a flop. I didn't think it would I was either. just hoping people would show up. People yeah. People did. So. In a distance, could it be? A big burned out neon sign hangs above a tiny dive bar. Jim and Kim's, huh? All right, it'll do. The bar is small and dimly lit. The crack of pool ball sounds in what the back of Patriots laugh and joke. A string of multicolored Christmas lights hover above the bartender. I can't tell if he's Jim or Kim. I'll pull out a seat at the bar. What will it be? It will be. One beer, please. I'll have a fucking beer. I'll have a fucking beer. That's when Sonic shows up with some rubber tubing. <laughs> the bartender slides me an ice cold beer. I take a sip and enjoy the refreshing taste. Say, are you Jim or Kim? I'm Neil. <laughs> oh. I they turn my attention to the game, which is playing on one of the TVs on the wall. As luck would have it, my team of preference is not only playing, but is currently in the lead, which is always a good thing. <laughs> I I like a beer trademark. <laughs> I, I like that you asked. Yeah, that, that was those keep it real flip flops. Yeah. Snap into a Kim Jim. <laughs> so people in this bar are wearing the distinctive colors of the team I dislike. Although I believe from their demeanor that, like me, the passion for their team is all in good fun. Oh. So not people are crazy and going to try to cut you with a box cutter because you have a fucking Vikings bowl in your yard. That's a real thing that happened to somebody. Jesus. Uh, a middle-aged woman holding a nearly empty wine glass slides up to the bar and sits uncomfortably close to me. Hey, sailor. Oh, hello! Hey. Good to see fresh meat in here. Oh, I'm Mary, come here often. <laughs> fresh meat. Oh no, I actually just moved to this part of town today. I'm Son, by the way. <laughs> ah. Are you watching the game? Nani. Yeah, I my preferred team is the is in the lead. If they keep this up, they'll win the game for yeah, they'll give me the game with ease. <laughs> I want to to Mary not gonna lie. <laughs> Brian, keep it in your pants. Hey. Keep it in your pants, Brian. Oh, I uh, love that team. I also love that game. I love someone who knows their way around balls. Balls. I'm getting the impression she's a little drunk. Uh. Hmm. Buy a gala drink? I am. God. I, I, Chad, what do you want us to do? You want to you buy her a drink or not? Because I don't actually know which one might be more interesting. Dak I Sack? What? Dad I Sack? What? Bro, is that I an just Apple saw product? Battle okay. Uh <laughs> He's talking about 
No. <laughs> a little bit. Fire shot of Everclear. <laughs> yes. Okay, so they want us to... <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. I'm glad <laughs> Thanks, you Thanks, chat. <laughs> so hard right now, chat. Aura uh, had the only real answer, so we'll go with that. Yeah, so we're not going to buy her a drink. She has no dad sack to suck. You're right. You're right. <laughs> uh, maybe another time. <laughs> Aura really wants, wants oh, us God, to suck balls. It? What what did you send me yesterday, Brian? You said you were really fucking drunk, but then you did... I don't know, it was something about a fart? Please tell the chat what you did. <laughs> that is sack. <laughs> Watch the game over another beer. The game has gotten close in a term of point, but a little too close to what I'm comfortable with. After a particularly skilled player scores a number of points for the other team, putting them in the lead, I hear an affirmative grunt from another man at the bar. No term. <laughs> oh yeah, that guy's like <laughs> the coffee spoon. He sits alone, sipping whiskey and watching the game as well. Enjoying the game? I am now that we are winning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we must be rooting for a different teams. In my opinion, my team is far superior. <gasps> Yeah, he sent me. You sent me audio, Brian, of you smacking your nuts. That's in the sink. it. Cause you, cause you see your your balls on your sink. Cause you walked up to him in the middle of the night and he told me you did that. And then you sent me audio. He sent me that same thing. Yeah, <laughs> of your nuts hitting the sink. Oh, and I, I didn't hear the audio. Yeah, he sent me audio of what it sounded like. <laughs> and and it's pretty great. <laughs> I didn't get that audio. I have to disagree with that. Based on why. <laughs> yeah, we know what the, one of the chat members' nuts sound like when they hit porcelain. I think it's porcelain. I hope it's not metal. Uh, based upon our win loss record, I'd say that my team is superior. That's where you're wrong. Since as it stands right now, my team is beating yours. <laughs> oh, it is personally cool. All right, good. <laughs> the conversation ends there, and we both go back to silently rooting for our respective teams. The game is close, but, uh, with both sides playing their hardest to they're playing hardest to win. But in the end, my team prevails. <laughs> Quiet cheers ripple throughout the bar. I raise a respectful glass at the man's drinking whiskey. He raises his in response. An unspoken <laughs> truce is formed between us based on mutual love. I'm going to read whatever he just said in a second. Mutual love for the game. Uh, he motions it's about to the, the sound of his nutsack. <laughs> that, that, that's what's getting me right now. That's, Who pours that's the good <laughs> shit. That's the shit. That's we had like a really long, like fucking, like heartfelt discussion after we talked about his nuts hitting a fucking sink too. After yeah, they're they're basically. Uh, yeah, they're they're like yeah, yeah. This is fine. Great, you can be a Packers fan. I'm a little country. You're a little rock and roll. That's I'm fine. I'm a little bit country. Yeah, the you're name, name's Robert. Thanks. I'm Son Goku uh, from Earth. <laughs> you yeah. must be new here. Mary already hit on you. Yeah. <laughs> She's a peach. Well, you pick the best bar in town, as slimy as it is. You'll never find a better spot than Jim and Kim's. <laughs> is there actually a Jim or a Kim that runs this place? Oh. No, that'd be Neil. Hi, my name's Neil. Hey. Good guy, Neil. Not enough Neils in this world. Oh, okay. Uh, you a whiskey fella or a beer fella? Beer, but I'll drink most things. You like shots? Shots! Shot! 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 Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. That's a bad sign. <laughs> you said the right thing. It's only one Neil in this world. He plays in Rush. <laughs> <laughs> or played in Rush. Here's to your health. We take shots. The whiskey Everybody! burns going down. But I try my hardest to look tough. Ha! I think this is what making friends is. Okay, so this guy is out of my friend's league. But I think if I play my cards right, we'll be pals in no time. Compliment is cool. Their jacket. Compliment is really good looks. Compliment is uh, hand tattoo. That's hand tattoo. 
I like your tattoo. What does it mean? It's a reminder. Oh, that guy darkness came out of it. <laughs> it's a reminder. He's like, does the dragon of the darkness flame? <laughs> <laughs> there was enough so, so like the guy who voices Shin's ja dad from Shin Chan voiced TA from fucking the Yuga show. Yeah. And there's yeah. a moment where him and his wife are fighting with like newspapers and he yells out Sword of the Darkness Flame as he like goes to beat his wife Wait. with a newspaper. <laughs> Wait. Did we actually do something we were we weren't supposed to do? Like did we just like fuck everything up like actually? Uh, I don't know. Oh, we uh, we 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 made him not happy with that talking about his tattoos. Okay, I wouldn't have known that that would have been bad. Yeah, we want to see eggplants come out of them. We got the eggplants out of the one guy. I don't know if we got any eggplants out of the coffee guy. Okay. Or the other people. We got hearts, but no eggplants from anybody. Okay. What are you doing here tonight? Running for my problems. I'm trying to make friends. don't care about anything, but actually care very deeply about everything to the point where it's debilitating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it sounds... Oh, it's sounds like the episode of Shin Chan where his family may or may not have buried a smack of the class. Yes! <laughs> yes! I remember that! That fucking show is rad. I fucking love that show. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Robert downs the rest of his drink. Of course not. Just want to fucking down Roberts Jr. Oh. <laughs> right back, got a powder in my nose. Comes back with actual powder on his nose, that's when you leave. <laughs> <laughs> Never seen Robert this talkative. He must like you. Ha, I guess so. Gotta admit that Robert has a gruff charm to him. If a guy like that thinks I'm cool, then I really must be. Robert comes back from the bathroom and grabs his leather jacket. He's already wearing it. For the second one? I'm gonna go home. You heading my way? You want some rough man love? <laughs> A rough, rough man love. <laughs> Robert and I leave the bar to find ourselves walking in the same direction. Hi. I I live in this cul I live in this cul-de-sac down the way. Oh my god! Does everyone live there? Me too! We just finished unpacking today. Great place to be. Good neighbors, well, some of them. Who's that? We get to Robert's house, which is just a few houses away from mine. We stop and he turns to me. Mm. I don't kiss and tell, so. Huh. So are we doing this or what? What? Hey. <laughs> yeah, what? Well, you want to come inside or not? A wave of realization rushes over me. I blush. Alright, I'm gonna ask this time. What's the right thing to do? Because I don't know what it is. Yeah, this, this seems critical. Alright. Do it, so lay a smooch, or smile and nod. Because those are both kind of positive responses. I think lay it on smooth is probably I'll the, lay it on smooth. The, I'm, I'm in this to have gay sex with men right now. Hell yeah. Versus smile and nod be like, I understand, I think. Alright. Well, I don't see why not. That sounded smoother in my head. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. And you both transform into Power Rangers. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I want five loads on my hat. Yeah, I didn't <laughs> fuck, yeah, fucking, fucking, there's this, like, this, like, gay plot porn where the dude, like, the sergeant walks in on all of his, like, dudes and just tells him, like, I need five loads of my hat by whatever 500 hours of shit, like, <laughs> God, it's weird. Dad on dad. I follow him up to his, uh, to his door. He fumbles with his keys for a second and unlocks the door, leading me inside. The moment the door closes behind us, he pushes me up against the wall and kisses me, grabbing my hips. Come on. Robert takes my hand and leads me uh, up the stairs and into what I assume is his bedroom. But it's so dark I, that I can't see anything but Robert's intense expression. He kisses me again and I hear him uh, shucking off his clothes, his jacket, 
Uh, I clumsily take off mine too. His hands roam down my chest, and suddenly he's tugging at my belt. I was, I, I was like only here and didn't read the next word. I was like, tugging at, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, uh, I don't normally do this. Do you want to stop? No. No. Good. Robert continues to unbuckle my belt and guides me to the bed. Let's have some fun. Oh, sorry, I'll say it's sexier. All right. I'll, I'll read the, no, no. <laughs> is, is that no, the no, problem? No, not you. I think they want me to read the other stuff sexier. No, I know. But is that the problem? Is yeah. that it? that dream daddy isn't sexy enough? So, sunlight streams in between the slats and the blinds. My head is pounding. I really overdid it last night. I'm starting to chub over here. <laughs> you got me at half mass with your voice, da. <laughs> Wait a minute. This isn't my old house or my new house. Look around for Robert, but find myself alone. <laughs> Hello? Clatter from the bathroom and the door opens. Robert is fully dressed and grabs his keys. That was fun. Yeah, it was. You're a really strong opponent. Oh. <laughs> you should go. <laughs> That's certainly not what I was expecting. Well, uh, talk to you later. Mm -hmm. Robert cracks a smile. Sure, your clothes are over there. Oh. I hastily get dressed and show myself out. The sun is unbearably bright. I need to lie down. I start to make my way back home when I suddenly remember. Amanda! <laughs> she just got pumped and dumped like a chump. <laughs> <laughs> Achievement unlocked a bad dad. I'm a bad dad. What? Amanda? Bad dad. Uh. He's over the kitchen. Looks slightly disappointed. Aw, oh, man. I was kind of hoping you had gotten kidnapped and I was going to have to come rescue you. From the gay sex I was just having with some random bar man? No, I uh, made a friend at the bar last night and ended up sleeping over at uh, his place. <sighs> Smooth. Where are the Emma? Where are the Emmas? They left a little while ago. Oh, you guys have fun? Yeah, watched some movies, ate snacks, stole a car, you know, the usual sleepover stuff. <laughs> you teens and your larceny. So, this breakfast that's cooking, what's that all about? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's hash browns and eggs and bacon. Can I? Ugh. Yes, you can have some breakfast. Bless you, sweet child. <laughs> Up the butt, Charizard! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do something about this hangover. Amanda, your loving father might have overdone it last night. <laughs> mm, somebody's hungover. Father of the year. You wouldn't have it. Uh, you wouldn't happen to ha have any aspirin or. Hey. I got just the thing. She pulls out a jar of pickles. Amanda, what? Yeah. Drink this. Uh, the pickle juice. Huh? Yep, it's what I used once. Uh, would assume someone would use. I would also assume that it works pretty well. Hmm. I've never heard that one. Who raised you? Amanda Ann. Give her a s Amanda Ann, oh bitch. <laughs> Give her a stern <laughs> I'll do that one. This reminds you of what? I I I hear suspiciously, I eye the jar of pickles even more suspiciously. This this better work! I down a sip of the tart juice. I mean, you can just get, like, pickles. I think you can can't... get pickle brine by itself. I think you probably can do that. I mean, I haven't seen it at any grocery store or anything like that. Hey. It's gotta exist, it's just really unassuming in its packaging and you just never see it. 
Like, I, I, that's gotta be a Am thing. Am I living a lie? <laughs> <laughs> no, there's like a bunch of shit that I just don't notice in the store, but like, like that, like, I feel like that has to exist. Oh. Okay. I mean, I assume. Huh. Watch it, you. I drink more pickle juice and help myself to the delicious breakfast that Amanda has graciously allowed me to partake in. After inhaling some hash browns and, <laughs> some and, inhaling some hash, and dunking several pieces of bacon into runny egg yolk, I'm starting to feel a little better. Amanda grabs her backpack and keys. You gotta get to class. Don't forget meeting with Mr. Vega, okay? He said it was important. Love you. He also said that he's got his claws out and he's ready to, f to flip over in a cage match with you. Oh yeah, Vega, the fucking oh god, this is like my beauty intoxicate you. <laughs> fucking Vega, <laughs> Vega's the weirdest. I I never really understood how to play him properly. Uh, I'll be there. Knock him dead, kid. Yeah, kiddo. Man, this is gonna be real bad when you meet with that with the Brian dad because he's gonna be like, oh, your son didn't get accepted into <laughs> into. Yeah. In, photography in, in, school my 10 year old child just got accepted into harvard and yale and is taking them both to make <laughs> super harvard yale he's gonna have a harvard and yale degree it's gonna cost me so much fucking money and it doesn't no, it's matter. A free scholarship oh free scholarship oh, spelling shit. so many words so good that'd be fucking weird that's insane let it get like the 10 year old scholarship for a spelling bee <laughs> and those are words they like I don't do like it's on the spot like they have them already ready. Oh, you're right. I've had a man at school checking at the front desk. They gave me a bright orange visitor sticker and send me on my way. But you gave me a kiss and then she gave me a ticket. <laughs> walk man on and says, I'm well. barely awake and feeling pretty happy. <laughs> but hopefully nobody will notice. I just rolled back into the other idiot. I check my watch and I'm relieved to see that I'm the only two. I'm only the th I'm only the two minutes late. <laughs> Wait, that was room 103 or 108. I spot a youth standing at his locker and approach him for help. Excuse me, do you know where Mr. Vega's classroom is? <laughs> youth turns around and looks me up and down with his heavily lined eyes. <sighs> <laughs> Chickity Chinese chicken. <laughs> Come on, kid. I'm late for a meeting. Mr. Who? Mr. Vega. I don't know. Have you tried the exit? Okay, wise guy. Are you going to help me or not? <sighs> Fine. Up those stairs until the left. You can't miss him. I have the stairs. I'm able to walk. Fuck. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm up the I'm stairs and walk around, <laughs> unable to find Mr. Vegas class anywhere. After a couple of minutes searching, I head back downstairs. That punk youth sent me on a wild goose chase. I imagine that low rent Ger Gerard <laughs> way is standing, fully ready to give him a piece of my mind, when suddenly a head, uh, head pops out from the classroom next to his locker. Oh. Lucian. <laughs> Lucian! <laughs> Don't you have a third period to go to? This sounds like a monster. <laughs> I know, Mr. Vega. Oh. Now I'm officially ten minutes late. I glare at him as he walks away. We're not cool. We're we're not cool. Um. <laughs> you must be son. This period's almost over. Would you mind waiting in the uh, waiting in the back? Hmm? Mr. Vega leads me in, and I take a seat in one of the uh, the comically small right. students' desks in the Thanks, back. Hey, Brian. Good night. Thanks for coming in and talking about bonks. <laughs> I might get stuck in this. Mm -hmm. All right, one, one more party hurrah for Brian here. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw a pull out that dick for <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> yes, Colin. Or Colin. He oh. stands up and does the thing where he blows out the crook of his elbow to make a fart noise. Hmm. <laughs> the whole class erupts in laughter. Hmm. 
All right, all right, everyone. Very funny, Cole. Please sit down. Ah. Now, Holden Caulfield is an unreliable narrator in the sense that the bell for the end of period rings. All the students immediately get up and break for the door. Whoa! Remember to do the reading and answer the response questions on page 194 in your textbook. Nobody's listening. Ah! Or not, I guess. I'll hopefully be there at the end of the march. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right, yep. Yeah. Well, just let us know when you get up here. We'll that, do we'll do shit. To your that's butt. when we gotta play the bionicle game. <laughs> we gotta get we gotta get dirty Indian on that one. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, there's also we also gotta get uh uh Gary in on something. <laughs> we can just play some Sonic games. I yeah, we just yeah. do it. Um, Sonic or Yu-Gi-Oh! We can play a bunch of uh, my dude. <laughs> oh, <whoa. laughs> um. He's fucking a face there. <laughs> Middle schoolers, right? Don't. don't, don't I only teach high schoolers? I'm sorry. That's all good. You know, budget cuts. Right. Thank you so much for coming in. No problem. Mr. Vega? Oh. Please call me Hugo. <sighs> I don't normally do these impromptu parent-teacher meetings. Is this two Street Fighter references? Uh, yeah. Huh. Yeah, there. It is. But I'm sure you know Amanda's a very bright student and I'm concerned about her recent behavior. <laughs> What's going on? <sighs> Amanda has never been the most engaged student, but I know she cares. Recently, though, she's been falling behind. She's not completing assignments and has been doing ra rather poorly on tests. I normally choke, ch chalk this up to senioritis, but this is strange. I thought Amanda always shared everything with me. It hasn't even crossed my mind that something might be wrong. Eh. Just wanted to ask, is everything okay at home? Well, I just got my asshole filled last night, and I probably should have came <laughs> home earlier than that. We just moved. She's fine. She has a tendency to bottle things up. I'd say she probably does have a tendency to bottle things up. From what I can tell from before. We did just move. So either of these are the top or bottom one. Uh, what do you guys think, chat? Should I say top or the bottom one? Uh, top or bottom, me, chat? Me personally, I think the bottom one is the one. Just want to see if they have any if they if they have any suggestions. But well, I want to go with the bottom one too. I just want to. Because Aura because, clearly because knows. Because we just issue. moved is one issue, but um, also okay. her other dad's dead. Yeah. Anything different about her, but she always tends to put on a happy face no matter what. Ah! See if you can talk to her about it. I know she values you a great deal and would appreciate your guidance. She keeps heading down this road. I She's don't know. gonna die. I know how important <laughs> art school is to her, and I would hate to see her miss out on the scholarship money that she clearly deserves. I'll make sure to talk to Amanda. Thanks for letting me know, Hugo. Mm. Way out, I stopped thinking for a moment. I turned to Hugo. Hey. Hey. Uh, oh, sorry. Hey, Hugo. Mm -hmm. Yes. They ever catch that rye? Frick on a stick. 